This presentation outlines the main parts of a compound light microscope. It also briefly describes the functions of these parts. So, let's begin. The eyepiece lens. It's also known as the ocular lens, and it is the first point of magnification with a 10 times or 15 times magnification. The barrel. It is also known as the body tube. The barrel connects the eyepiece lens to the objective lens, which we'll look at in a minute. The arm. The arm is like the backbone to the microscope. It raises the objective lenses above the stage and is also the place where we use to carry the microscope from one place to another. The objective lenses. This is the second point of magnification. They revolve around on what is called the nose piece. There are usually four objective lenses, color coded for easy recognition. The four times is red, 10 times is yellow, 40 times is blue, and the oil immersion lens 100 times is gray. The stage. This is the platform where the slide is placed for viewing. The slide is attached to the stage by using the slide clips. It is movable in four directions by using the stage control. The coarse and fine focus knobs. These move the stage towards or away from the objective lenses depending on which way it is turned. The coarse focus knob brings the specimen into focus. The fine focus fine tunes and increases the detail of the specimen. The lamp. This is the light source for the microscope. The lamp brightness can be adjusted using the dimmer. The diaphragm. This is a rotating disc found under the stage. It varies the light intensity that is projected upwards into the slide. The base. This is the bottom of the microscope and is used for support. The base should also be used along with the arm when carrying the microscope. Now, let's review all the parts at once.